Okay, so messing around with my Pine phone again. Um, what was it? Just a bit ago, I messed up my SXMO Arch SD card, and so I reinstalled everything again. And I've been kind of trying to mess around with Waydroid on it, but there are a lot of things that are different. Um, first of all, I'm using the SXMO packages instead of the source files. So now I'm relying on the Dinknix repos for that one for SXMO. And but this time around, I do have both Sway and DWM installed as options. And I am messing around with that a little bit more. So basically I did have to start over, but not quite. Um, I still obviously have some recoloring to do on the Sway side of things. But everything is basically just the same. I tried setting up Waydroid, obviously. Um, and it's not quite working. And looking around, it looks like it's a problem with the fact that I have full disk encryption enabled. So this time I went with full disk encryption rather than the standard stuff. But I do have a lot of the same stuff that I've had in on by default. Well, I had it before installed and I moved a bunch of stuff over. So like if I open up, actually go back into apps and see MPCPP. I've got all of that installed again, so I can mess around with music. But yeah, full disk encryption works pretty well. This is on an SD card. It is decently snappy. Um, there was a few days ago where I had, actually about a week ago, where I had my S SIM card in my Pine phone, except for about a day. Except for the fact that I was running it on the Fosh, which is on the EMMC. And interesting thing I ran into is at t detected it as a non-4G enabled phone, which meant that they disabled it. So I had to call in to re-enable my services when I moved it back to my other phone so that I could get data again. But it sounds like I might have to call in and get them to unblock the Pine phone so that I can mess around with that on the other side as well. But other than that, all I have to do now is add in the network settings for everything. And then from there, I should be good. But basically, I find it kind of cool now that um, I get to switch between Sway and DWM now for both of my options. I've just got to mess around with BE menu or maybe slip Rofi in instead of BE menu. But... Seems to work pretty well. I may change up some widgets and rice it up a bit more. But, yeah, both works. This is, again, out of the repos. Um, all you have to do is install both DWM and Sway meta packages, and then you can do it. So I started from bare bones, installed SXMO, and then had to configure it so that I could run my custom user off of it as well because when I open a terminal you can see that it's got a different name than the default so I deleted the default to user change the host name and now I've got a slightly better environment than what I had before it kind of boggled my mind what I had to change to get it to auto log in to the correct user but I finally figured it out thanks to some help from some very nice people on discord but yeah um, it's very simple to do. Um, I haven't quite messed around with SXMO, um, as a phone system itself for an extended period of time, but I pl do plan on setting it up. I do have a couple other things I am looking at installing. So I do have like some contacts configured and things like that, but yeah. Dude. Okay, uh, what did I do? Why won't you go down? Always works. So yeah, can toggle between the two, pretty simple. 
it works, and I'm going to figure out like installing more stuff and making this work. Remember guys, if you appreciate what you saw, if anything, any of this helped you, you can scream at me on Discord, on Gilded, on any of the other chat things, on Matrix and whatnot. Um, links are down in the description. I believe I've even included my XMPP in there. Check it all out and drop a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think at all, any of that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.